Getting your investment structure right from the beginning can save you thousands of dollars in tax later on. Hi, Jared Brown here, Aussie expat financial planner here in Singapore. Thanks for tuning into the video today. Let's have a look at why it's so incredibly important to get the ownership structure of your investments right from the very start. Now, when we talk about ownership structure, we're talking about whether you put shares or ETFs, unit trusts in your own name, inside a super fund, inside an insurance bond, a company, joint with your partner, whatever it may be, far too many people make the mistake or simply don't give it enough thought about thinking their about their future tax residency. Whilst we're in Singapore, there is no capital gains tax, there's no tax on dividends, it makes it very easy to ignore or simply disregard or discount any tax treatment of your investments. But let's have a look at an example of if you were back in Australia and kept those investments growing in your own name. Let's use some simple, simple numbers here. We've got $2,000 a month going into a diversified investment portfolio and we've done that for three years. Now we're back in Australia at that point in time, we've contributed $72,000 and it's now worth $90,000. We have an $18,000 gain. Now because we've held those investments for more than 12 months in Australia, we only pay tax on half of it, which means we have a $9,000 gain. Now if we are in the top income tax bracket and losing about 45% of that to the tax office in Australia, that means we're up for a tax bill of about $4,050. If we'd instead held these investments inside our super fund, then that tax bill might drop to say $1,800 because we pay 10% tax for holding them beyond the 12 months. But what if we'd put those investments into our non-working spouse's name? The tax rate would have been nil. What if we'd put those investments into an insurance bond instead whilst we were still in Singapore? again, the tax rate would be nil. So these are the things that we need to think about ahead of time, not waiting to build up our investments and then looking to make a change later on. Changing the ownership of investments is a taxable event in most jurisdictions, not in Singapore, of course. And yes, you could do it as part of your repatriation plan, but it's far easier to get it right from the very beginning. Any questions at all, drop me a note, but thank you for tuning in and see you next time.